Hi, my name is Lloyd and today I'm going to demonstrate some skills and techniques of golf. Starting with the grip, there are two main types. The overlapping grip or Varden grip or the interlocking, which is the one that I prefer. The V on my left hand points to my right shoulder and the V on my right hand points to the right shoulder as well. As you'll notice, my feet and shoulders are aiming towards the target. My left eye is over the ball. You can see how I had my head still and my eyes on the ball throughout the whole swing. And my left arm was straight as I made contact with the ball. I've just done some warm-up exercises and I'm now going to hit the uh, mid-irons, uh, the 5, 6 and 7. Uh, a maximum amount of clubs of golf can carry in their bag is 14. I've just chosen the 7 and I expect to hit 120 metres with that club. Now I'm going to hit some five irons. I've demonstrated my skills with a 5 and a 7, now I'm going to move on to a 3 iron. I've just been hitting some three irons, about 170 meters. Now I'm going to move on to um, my three wood. I've moved over to the chipping green and I'm going to practice my chipping. To successfully chip the ball, you have to get some height on it. To do this, you have to open your club face and open your stance. As an alternative to the chip, I use the 7 iron, uh, almost as a putter, to chip and run the ball. To do this, you close the, the head of the, uh, the 7 iron and hit the ball with the closed face. I'm in the bunker now. Uh, to play a bunker shot, you have to open your stance, open the club face and hit the ball towards the target. I'm hitting towards that flag by the way. So this is my target line and this is my stance. This creates a V. Despite me doing what I've just done in a bunker you can't touch the, the sand with the club head as it's a penalty.
change, um, about to hit some drivers, uh, done some of my warm up exercises again and yeah, let's go. I'm going to show you how to create curve on the flight of the ball by drawing and fading the ball with my 5 iron. I'm going to start off with the fade. To do this, you have to open up you, your feet and open up the club face and hit across the ball. But to draw in the fade, the ball will start the direction the club is facing. With the draw, my swing path is to the right and I close my stance and the club face a little. In addition to what I said earlier, the flight of the ball depends on the relationship between the club face and the swing. Moving on to putting, uh, this is the skill where shots are saved in a low scoring round of golf. So it's key to have good putting skills. There are several factors to consider when judging a putt. Firstly, and most obviously, the distance. Secondly, the slope. Then the way the grass is growing, uh, known as the net. And finally, the humidity or how wet the grass is. This is an eight foot putt with a slope going left to right.
I'm Lloyd, this has been my golf skills video, thank you for watching.